Weekend, more demonstrations are planned after a night of protest in downtown Atlanta. CBS 46's Ayani Hughes was in Avondale Estates today where dozens gathered to fight for change. As racial tensions grow across the country, protesters here in Avondale Estates, they hope to come out and spread a few messages, hoping for systemic changes in their city. Narshina Smith is new to the Avondale area. Just learning a lot about the history that um, this community was founded on racism and uh, the community has profit, profited off of systemic racism. She and dozens of others lined North Avondale Road Saturday to stand in solidarity with the black and brown community and fight for systemic changes within their city. I want uh, there to be some progressive change in that so that People of color, indigenous people, and black people could feel welcomed here. Lisa Cottrell agreed. We felt like we needed to do something in our own city. As an activist in the Avondale Estates community, she assembled this protest through the Avondale Alliance for Racial Justice, which she co-founded in June. It does have, like every city in America, a racist history, and so uh, we wanted to look at asking our city to move to 21st century policing, which has citizen oversight as well as citizen input and is more of a community policing model. Cottrell says her efforts for equality aren't prompted just by the area's history, but also by the most recent instances of racial injustice across the country. People really appreciate us turning around the reputation of Avondale as kind of racist because I really you know, and I'm not just talking about individual racists, I'm talking about turning around structural racism, you know? Mm -hmm. And so it just, if nothing else, it means a lot to us to have the community feel like we're supporting them. In Avondale Estate, Sayani Hughes, CBS 46 News.